What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and I've got a quick guide for you in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on how to complete the Kudani Sar Shrine or Bridging the Sands. This one's quite straightforward. Um, it might be a bit easier if you've got more stamina. So if you can't do this one first, try just come back later with a bit more stamina. You can do most of this. I could just run across with my stamina, but I want to show you guys how to do it more properly. So what you need to do is you need to use these wooden platforms to jump over the first bit of sand because basically what it does, it drains your stamina really quickly and stops you moving. So... On the last platform, you want to use the rewind ability or the recall ability, I think it's called, to bring the platform back. Obviously, get your stamina back up and then make it through to the middle platform. Then what you've got to do is you've got to use the previous platforms you've just come across from and build a small little bridge. Now, it's um, a bit difficult if you're um, already over here and you've missed it, but basically, just be patient. Wait for the second one to come through. So you get this first one here. Wait for another one to come through. If you try and go out into the sand to get the one that's distant, you're probably going to fall back. So you can see here, one isn't enough. You're going to need two of these. One just sort of blows away. It's not much use. So you have to get a second platform from the sand on your right. But as I said, if you go and try and get the one that's far away, you might end up getting swallowed up. So if you haven't got as much stamina as I do, just wait and be patient for the other one. Otherwise, you can go out and give it a shot. As you can see, here, it takes me just more, yeah, about a bar and a half to get back. Once you've done that, you can build these two into a bridge. And then simply create a sloped bridge over the railings to your left. There are there are two chests in here, two optional chests. I'm not going to show you how to get them because they are both really, really simple. All you've got to do is use the little vehicle you get in a second to drive over and get them. None of them are very hard, so I'm not going to include that. This is just the base shrine. Make whatever kind of ghetto bridge you can. Jump over to the other side. There'll be a robot underneath this. You can literally just drop this on him to kill him. Um, and again, you're looking to use bridges to try and get over the sand as quick as you can so you don't lose all your stamina. Once you get to this top bit, there will be a small switch you can activate. This drops a little ball that will be launched halfway across the shrine to the other, other side of the room. From there, it's simply a matter of traveling over to the shrine in one of the vehicles and using the ascend ability to go through the roof on the other side. Now on your way over there, there will be a couple of enemies you might have to take out. They shouldn't be too much of a trouble. They're just archers, they're not a big issue. Before we head over, you're going to have to build this on the way back anyway, so you might as well build this now. Just use the three platforms again to link the stairs behind you with the platform you're standing on, so that when you come back, you've got a direct path up to where you need to go to take the board. I drop the bridge down, there you go. Get into one of these vehicles, you don't have to do anything with them, just get in the driving seat, give it a couple of seconds, it does get enough power to move by itself. And then once you get out of the end, remember the sand is going to move you when you stop, so make sure you stop the vehicle quite far, and make sure you're uh, sort of, you see the pattern on the floor, make sure you're in that pattern, then use the ascent. 